Hello, today we're going to be making a ox and a rabbit in origami. You're going to need a square piece of paper. First step, you fold it. You fold the paper in half. Open it up. And fold it like that. Do that on the other side. And it should look like this. Fold it in half again. And do what we did before. Your paper should look like a 4x4 four four grid right now. Now you fold the paper into a triangle. This part can sometimes give you trouble. Open it up and fold it into a triangle group again. Paper should look like that. Now fold this spot in and you're going to put your finger under this flap and you're going to push it down with that and it should look like that right now. So I'm going to do the same thing again. You push this spot up, this flap, pull it up, go like that, push it down paper should look like that. Now you're going to flip it over and the paper looks like that and you're going to push it down. Oops. Flip it over and you're going to fold this spot in like a paper airplane. Now it should look like that, and you're going to push this down so that it looks like this. As you can see, I have a couple white spots that's completely fine. I'm going to flip it over again, and on this small triangular area at the top, you're going to take the tip and fold it down. It should be aligned with the center. Okay, it should look like this, kind of like a barn house. Now, you're going to fold this paper in half. You're, right now, you're going to have two little flappy areas. You're going to grab them, slightly pull them out, and then right here, it should look like that. Push that spot down. The paper should look like that. Now take this spot and don't fold like, don't fold uh, straight that way, but give it a little angle and fold like that. Open it up and uh, should there should be a little flap right there. I'm going to open it up and push it downwards to. It looks like that. There should be a little protrusion on the bottom. I'm going to open this spot up and T 
cupcakes. Sorry. And push it. rabbit should look like that so far next we're going to come back to this spot and push in this little flap it does help if you can fold this part right here first but you're only going to push that flap in and nothing else Now you're going to take the bunny's ears and just fold them down. Don't fold this spot too hard and let them be a little loose. You can take a pencil or pen and draw an eye. You can also draw other symbols on the rabbit as well. Now that you've finished your rabbit, we are going to make a bowl. I was going to use red paper, but I couldn't find any, so I'm going to use hot pink paper instead for the good look. First, we're going to start by folding this into a triangle. Unfold it. Take this spot and fold it in. Same thing with the other side. to unfold it and do the same thing you did but on the other side Right now, your paper should look like that. Now, you're going to take these two parts, not the diamond right here, and push them in right there. That diamond area should protrude a little, and you're going to want to fold that. going to do the same thing on the other side just push these two spots down and then on the center area fold it together right now your paper should look like this with two flaps around the middle you're going to push these two flaps down and fold them down i'm going to flip the paper over and you're going to fold up Your paper should look like that you're going to fold this spot down into the center Should look like this. 
unfold that. We'll go like that as well. Flip it over. After. Push it down like that. And do the same thing. Fold this part like that. Unfold it. Fold it up. And fold it downwards. The paper should look like that. Now you're going to take this spot and fold it upwards and leave a space, a small space right there. You're going to fold this downwards. Uh, like that. And then fold this spot upwards. Yeah, it should be like that. Go with it, flip it over, and open it up. Not that side, but on um, this side. Now, make it so that this fold goes out the other way. And same thing with this fold. Now, you are going to Push that in. Oops. It's a little messy. But it should look like that. Now you're going to take this part and fold it in. This part should be a little higher, so I'm going to adjust it. Now fold it that way. And open this spot up so it looks like that. Fold it outwards. should look like this. Now you're going to take that horn, I guess, and push it that way. Right now, your ox should be a little puffy. I'm going to take this spot. Could be a little hard. But fold this inwards. Open it up. And push that in. And fold it inwards. Now, your ox should look like that. Thank you, and have a nice day.